Here I'm going to show you how to set up your Visual Studio Code in order to debug your Remix um, loaders and actions. Um, the first thing we need to do is set up your launch configurations. There are two configurations here um, depending on which um, provider you're selected. For the Remix app server, you actually need to run the um, npm run dev, so here's the configuration for that. Um, if you're using Express or the, any of the other um, providers, you can use the attach by process ID and attach to the, the node that's running your server side. In addition to that, you need to also um, enable source map support in your Remix config. So make sure you open that file up and select source map true. Now we also need to add a debug function. The reason for that is that the initial breakpoint cannot be in your route module. So I create a little helper function called debug in my utils folder. And then inside the route folder, I will import that and then um, set the breakpoint on my debug. And then once it's hit, I can then debug my loaders. So here we're going to go ahead and open up the um, jokes route. Here, as you can see, I imported the debug function. I call the debug function. I make sure that I set the, deep, the breakpoint inside here. And then when it hits, I can then step through and be able to access the loader. So let's go ahead and start the debugger. So I'm going to press F5 to start. It's now running npn run dev. My debugger is attached. So now I'm going to go to the browser, go to read jokes, and you'll see that the debug step has been, um, the breakpoint has been hit. I can F10 to step through, and now I'm inside my loader. I can step through that and actually see that my joke lists have data. So I'm going to continue to step through. I can check my user. In this case, I don't have a user yet, so the user is going to be null. Okay, and then I'm just going to go ahead and continue through the app. So now that I'm in here, I'm going to go ahead and click on login. I'm going to register. And if you notice here, I'm going to go to the login route. I have, again, I have a breakpoint set on debug. One of the things you'll notice is that sometimes you don't actually see the red debug breakpoint, even though it's actually set. You can always look in your debug breakpoints panel and see if it actually is set there. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and register a name and type in my name, hit submit. Again, I hit the breakpoint in my debug function. I can F10 to step through and now I'm inside my action. I can step through and you'll see that all of the form data is, is there. And again, just Resume to continue. Oh, I guess I've already registered. I'm gonna go ahead and do login now. And again, type in my username, password, submit, F10, and now I'm inside. I can step through. Keep stepping through. I'm in login. I'll wait. At this point, I actually now have a user object and I can just resume. Again, now, again, because I hit the loader for the jokes route, again, it's hitting the breakpoint there, F10, and I'm in there as well. This time, when I get the user, I now have my user account. And that's basically it for how to debug your loaders and actions in Visual Studio Code.